Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, I hope you're all doing very well. So in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to make this really easy, cute dragonfly hanging decoration which can also be made into a bag charm as well. So let's get into it. Okay, so for yarn you're going to be needing two different colours, you're going to need your main colour that you want the dragonfly to be. So I've picked mint green for this one, this is just a double knit acrylic yarn. And then you're going to need a black yarn, again this is just a double knit acrylic yarn, they're both the same weight. and you can use any colours that you want, uh, but I highly recommend like using a black yarn because I think it has a good contrast against a nice bright colour. Okay, so I recommend grabbing two hooks, one larger one and one smaller one. So for the main hook that I'm going to be actually crocheting with, I'm going to be using a 2.5mm hook. And then I've got a 1.75mm hook just for um, making sure that I can weave the ends in a little bit easier because if it does get a little bit tight then I've got a smaller hook and it's much easier to weave those ends in and lastly you're going to need a pair of scissors and in terms of how much yarn you need you really don't need a lot um, you would probably only need maybe like 15 grams of black yarn maybe not even that much and even for your main colour you probably wouldn't need any more than like 15 grams either so this is perfect for a scrap yarn project as well Okay, so we're going to start off with just the main part of the dragonfly and you're just going to grab your main colour and you're going to make a slip knot. Like that, okay? And then with your hook, you're going to want to chain 16. Okay, so there's the chain and then we're going to be making one half double crochet into each stitch all the way across now I personally like to work in the back bumps so I flip the chains over and I'm working into these individual back bumps but you don't have to you can just work into the normal chains if you want to so I'm just going to make my first half double crochet into that second back bump so I'm flipping the chain over and I'm literally going into that back bump right there and making my half double crochet that and then I'm going to make a half double crochet into the next back bump and then I'm going to make a half double crochet into each back bump all the way across the row so by the end of the row you should have 15 stitches Okay, so this is what it looks like when you have got to the end of the row. So as you can see, I have done one half double crochet into each stitch and I'm going to be adding two more half double crochets and this is gonna create a kind of round shape at the end. So I'm just gonna do two more half double crochets into that same chain or back bump like that. Okay, see how it kind of creates a more rounder shape. And then we're going to kind of tilt the work so that you can see the next sort of stitch or chain on the opposite side or underneath it if you will and you're going to want to slip stitch into that next stitch so here we have our row we've crocheted all the way along the row we've done our three half double crochets in that final stitch and now we're going to be slip stitching around into this stitch below so the first stitch of the opposite side so I'm just turning the work around tilting it and I'm going to make my slip stitch into that next stitch on the opposite side like that okay so it kind of just brings everything together then we're just going to chain one and fasten off and then I'm just going to be weaving the ends into the back of the work okay so this is what you should have so far and now I'm going to take my black yarn or whatever contrasting color you're using and you're going to make a slip knot and you're going to want to attach the slip knot to any back loop of our work so I'm just going to go here at the top so I'm just going into a back loop and I'm going to pull the slip knot through that back loop like that and then chain one to attach like that and then I'm just basically going to make slip stitches into each back loop all the way around so I'm going into the next back loop just the next one out of the row and I'm going to make a slip stitch into that back loop and then into the next stitch that back loop making a slip stitch 
and then into the next back loop making a slip stitch and then into the next back loop I'm just making slip stitches into each back loop all the way around Okay, so once you have reached the beginning, I'm just going to slip stitch back into that chain one that we made. And if it's a little bit tight, you might need your smaller hook. Okay, so I'm just finding that the chain one that we made to attach it, and I'm just going to make my slip stitch like that. Okay, and then I'm just going to chain one and fasten off. And now I'm just going to weave in these ends into the back of the work. Okay, so we're now going to be working on the wings. So you're going to want to kind of mark exactly where the top of the kind of dragonfly's head is. So you'll have roughly two stitches at the top. So there's one right here and one right here. And those were the slip stitches we made. And then you're going to kind of count back from these two slip stitches at the top. And just to make it easier, I just kind of group it as one. So there's one here. And then you're going to want to count back four stitches. So as you can see, we've got our two here. And then we count back four. One, two, three, and four. So this is the fourth one right here. And I'm going to insert my hook into just the back loop of that fourth stitch. So that is the slip stitch in the black yarn that we made. I'm going into the back loop. I'm going to take my main colour and make a slip knot. And we're going to be starting the first wing. And you're going to want to pull the slip knot through that back loop. Like that okay so we're going to be starting the bottom left wing or if you're right-handed you might be starting the bottom right wing but we're starting with the bottom wing and we're going to be chaining eight one two three four five six seven and eight okay and then we're going to be making one half double crochet into each back bump across or you can go into the chain if you find that easier so I'm going into the second back bump from the hook, making a half double crochet, just like we did at the beginning. And I'm making one half double crochet into each back bump. So in total, I'll be making seven half double crochets. So now we're going to slip stitch into the next back loop of the black yarn. So I'm just going to find that next back loop and I'm just going to make a slip stitch just like that. And then I'm going to make a chain of 11 and this is going to be our second wing on the left side or on the right side, depending on if you're right handed. So I'm going to make a chain of 11, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. Okay, so this one is gonna be slightly longer and I'm gonna repeat the same thing, making one half double crochet into the second back bump from the hook and then one half double crochet into each back bump all the way across. So I'll be doing 10 half double crochets in total. Okay, and then I'm going to slip stitch into the next back bump. And then I'm just going to chain one and fasten off. Okay, so this is what you should have so far. We've got two wings, one is slightly longer than the other. And then I'm just going to be repeating the exact same thing but on the opposite side. And I'm actually going to be starting with the long wing because I am left handed, I'm going to have to like turn my work upside down chain up and then crochet down a slip stitch and then chain up crochet down so I'm kind of working in the opposite direction so I'm going to be grabbing my main color and making a slip knot okay so since we don't we're already at the top we don't need to count back four so I'm just going to be counting back one from the two at the top so we have our two here and then I'm just going to count back one and that's where I'm going to start my um, larger wing so I'm going into that back loop just inserting my hook into that back 
loop and then I'm going to pull through my main colour. And now since we're starting with the larger wing, I'm going to be chaining 11. Okay, and then I'm going to make one half double crochet into the second back bump from the hook. And then I'm going to make one half double crochet into each back bump all the way all the way down. So I'm going to make 10 half double crochets. Okay, and then I'm going to slip stitch into the next um, back loop like that. And then I'm going to make a chain of eight and now we're going to do the smaller wing. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight. Repeating the same thing, one half double crochet into the second back bump and then one half double crochet into each back bump all the way across. So I'm making seven half double crochets. And then I'm going to make a slip stitch into the next back bump where the black yarn is. Make the slip stitch and then that is the second wing all done and now I'm just going to chain one and fasten off. Okay so this is what you should have. You should have one long wing uh, at the top and then a long wing, uh, a shorter wing underneath. So now I'm literally just going to weave in all these ends into the back and then I'm going to show you how to do the outline of each wing. Okay, so I've just weaved all of the ends in and now we're going to do the wing detail. So you're going to want to take your black yarn and make a slip knot. And all of the wing details is on the innermost part of the wing. So we're going to be slip stitching across this edge here, across this edge here, this inner edge here and this inner edge here. So depending on if you're left or right handed, you might have to kind of turn it upside down to crochet along the inner edge. For example, because I'm left handed, I'm just going to attach my yarn here and slip stitch across. But when I do this one, I'm going to turn it upside down so I can slip stitch across this way. You know, if you're right handed, then you would attach the yarn normally at this edge and crochet along. But then when you're doing this edge here, you might need to turn it upside down and crochet across here to the edge, if that makes sense. Whatever direction that you normally crochet in, but you, you want to make sure that it's still on the inner edge. So it might mean you're flipping it upside down. So I'm going to start with this edge here since it's easier. You're going to want to attach the yarn into the back loop um, of the edge of the small wing. So I'm just going into that back loop right there and I'm going to attach the yarn for the chain one. Okay, and the chain one is going to count as our first slip stitch. And then I'm going to make a slip stitch into the next um, back loop, like that. And then I'm going to make a slip stitch into the next back loop. And I'm basically just slip stitching into each back loop all the way across. Okay, so just for reference, I, including the chain one that we made, I've done seven slip stitches. And then once you kind of get to the edge here, you're actually going to kind of slip stitch into sort of this black yarn here. So it doesn't have to be exact, but just kind of find a little gap in the black yarn, push the hook through to the other side, and then you're gonna yarn over, catch the yarn, and then pull up a loop like this, and then make your slip stitch as normal, like that. And that way it just drags the yarn right across and it looks like it's joining kind of at the at the line okay so because you've done that you don't need to chain one and fasten off you can just cut the yarn and pull the tail through so just pull it up like that okay and we're going to be weaving in that end a little bit later anyway now for the longer wing i'm going to be making a slip knot and this time, because I'm working left to right, I'm going to be attaching the yarn in the innermost corner. So I'm going to basically reverse what I did in the previous um, wing. I'm going to insert my hook into this sort of black line area here. And I'm going to pull my slip knot up through the work. 
Okay, so I'm pulling that slip knot through like this. Okay, not chaining one because we don't need to. And now I'm gonna make my slip stitches all the way across. Now I'm gonna be slip stitching into each back loop of each stitch. So I'm picking up only the back loop of the next stitch. And don't worry too much about these ends because I'm gonna weave them in later. Making that slip stitch. And then I'm slip stitching into the next back loop. Like that. Slip stitch into the next back loop. And I'm literally just slip stitching all the way across to the edge. So, so far I've done one, two, three, four. So I'll do five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay. So I've done 10 slip stitches for the large wing and I've done seven slip stitches for the smaller wing. And now I'm just going to chain one and fasten off. Okay, so that's what it should be looking like when you have uh, made all of your slip stitches. So we're now going to be working on the other side. So I'm going to be making my slip knot. And what I did for this wing here I'm going to do for this bottom wing here because as you can see I'm left working from left to right I want to work on the innermost edge so I'm going to be starting here so I'm inserting my hook into kind of the black line section and I'm going to pull my slip knot through okay and then I'm going to find my first stitch and I'm going to go into the back loop of that first stitch and make a slip stitch and remember, I'm going to be making seven slip stitches for the smaller wing. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay, and then I'm just going to chain one and fasten off. Okay, and then I'm going to be doing the last uh, longer wing, so making my slip stitch, uh, making my slip knot. And again, because I want to work on the inside, I'm going to be turning the work around. I'm going to start at this edge and work across. So I'm going into this sort of last back loop, inserting my hook into it, and then I'm going to pull my black yarn through and chain one to attach it. The chain one counts as one slip stitch so now I'm just going to be making nine more slip stitches so that's two three four five six seven eight nine and ten and then to kind of connect it into the middle, I'm gonna make one more slip stitch into this sort of black line section. So I'm pushing my hook through the whole work out to the other side. And I'm going to make a slip stitch through the back. So make sure that your yarn is at the back now and you're just going to yarn over, pull the, the yarn through and then just make your slip stitch as normal like that. And then I'm just gonna pull the yarn up and cut the yarn like this okay so now we have a lot of ends but it's fine once you weave them all in okay so I just double knotted the innermost ones at the back and then I just cut the yarn and now I'm just going to weave in these um, shorter ends at each edge just with my smaller hook and I'm just going to weave them in kind of in this line here just to make sure that it's nice and neat so I'm going to do that and then I'm going to come back and we'll show you how you can make the loop on top Okay, so I've just weaved in all of the ends. Now, if you're wanting to make this into a keychain, then I'm gonna show you how to make the kind of loop on top. So you just wanna take your black yarn or whatever color you want, make a slip knot, grab your hook, and then you're going to want to insert the hook into sort of top of the head. So just finding a stitch on top through the black, um, slip stitch that we made at the beginning 
I'm going to pull the slip knot through like this and then I'm going to make a chain of 40. Now depending on how long you want the string to be you can make more chains or you can make less chains but I found that a chain of 40 fits quite well around like a headphone um, like headband section or it's and it's good for just like a, a hanging decoration okay so once you have your 40 change you're going to want to make sure that the um, like string is not twisted and you're going to make a slip stitch into the exact same spot that you attached the yarn in so I'm just inserting my hook into that exact same spot and I'm going to make a slip stitch to attach it like that and then I'm just going to chain one and fasten off and again you just want to weave in those ends to the back this is what it looks like with a hanging string now if you want to make this into like a longer hanging ornament where you have multiple dragonflies sitting um, above one another then you're going to want to make a few more dragonflies as many as you want again you can make these in as many different colors as you want you're going to want to make your top dragonfly first so that's the one with the hanging loop and then for the others you don't need to make a hanging loop i'm going to come back and show you how i sew each one together Okay, so I've just finished making all of my dragonflies. I made five in total, and then obviously the one with the string, which will go on top. And then I'm just basically going to arrange them in the order that I want them to be in. And then I'm going to be sewing the bottom um, part of this dragonfly to the top part of this dragonfly. Um, so I'm just gonna arrange them in the color order that I want. And then I'm literally just going to take the black yarn and I'm going to sew these two parts together, these two parts together, these two parts together, and these two parts together. Um, literally just back and forth between the bottom and top part of each dragonfly. And then I would just tuck in the ends to the back. So I'm just going to do that now. And this is what the final result is looking like. I'm really happy with how this came out. Let me know if you tried this project out and tag me in any photos on Instagram or TikTok. And let me know what video you'd like to see me make next. And I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.